This is 192 Great Stupa at Sanchi from, or it's found in Madhya Pradesh, India. It is Buddhist. It was from the Maran dynasty is where it started and then went into the late Sunga dynasty. It's 300 BCE to 100 CE is when it was made out of stone masonry and sandstone on the dome. There are four images associated with this Buddhist piece. The context for it is that the leader of the Maran dynasty, a guy named Ashoka, had control of all this blue, didn't have this little area called Kalinga, and he invaded with a huge army and was ama amazed at the end of the war about how many people he had killed, 100,000 people. So at that point, he swore that he would, con um, not necessarily convert, I think he was already Buddhist, but he would become uh, a very Buddhist leader. And so to that end, he made these rock edicts all around India that proclaim all of the peace-loving virtues of Buddhism. And he built stupas, including our great stupa at Sanchi. And I'm going to tell you the function of it first, because that really helps to understand the stupa. And that is that uh, this great stupa, like all stupas, contains relics on the inside. It's like um, mud, and then inside the mud is um, uh, can be items that are buried with people, or it can be the bones, of, you know, the body of somebody. And um, so it's thought that um, the Buddha, his ashes are inside the great stupa, but it's alleged that the Buddha's ashes are in many stupas in India. So the function is it does contain relics placed there by Emperor Ashoka. It gives Ashoka these spiritual benefits by building a, a stupa, you get benefits. Um, that give you, you know, better karma to make it into, uh, make it to nirvana. It, the third function is that pilgrims, you can see here, can travel to the stupa and they can earn um, good karma to get into the afterlife to make it turn nirvana. And the fourth function is that here's the great stupa and here is a thriving Buddhist community around it. Look at all these stupas. So these are all kind of like burial mounds. Um, and so it's a part of that community of learners and worshipers. Okay, form is a biggie for the great stupa. The form is that it's designed in the position of a mandala, meaning that it's got um, the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west, and then it has this circle uh, diagram going on. We saw that also in Angkor Vat, not necessarily the circle, but the uh, four cardinal directions. And then we saw it in the Lakshmana temple, which is also a Hindu temple. So the mandala is both a Hindu and a Buddhist symbol. Also in terms of form, we have the dome, which represents heaven, or it's called an egg. Um, and at the top of the stupa is this wall the low wall and then rising out of the, you know, kind of the center, the wall protects or surrounds this pillar. It's called the axis mundi. So we've seen the axis mundi before, and this is the kind of the pivot of the universe. More form is that there are gates, gateways, you know, the four cardinal directions each have gateways and those gateways are called to, uh, Taranas, they're 35 feet high. And this is this north gateway is a part of our image. And um, what it's got is two square columns. You can see these square columns that are all engraved. And then elephants are like the capitals here at the top of these columns. And the elephants hold up three architraves that have, and you can look over here at this one. So here's the three architraves and they hold up um, or have these scrolls in, scrolled ends, and it is carved in high relief. So the content of these architraves um, 
it shows us stories of the Buddha's life before he became a Buddha. And it has just important symbols of Buddhism. And then the Buddha is represented in an aniconic form. Like there's no image of the Buddha as a person on here. Instead, he is represented with like this is a bod the Bodhi tree under which the Buddha meditated. And um, so the Bodhi tree represents the Buddha in this image where uh, he is being offered a bowl of honey by a monkey. And then this is an image of the Buddha. The Buddha here is represented by a um, stupa. And um, you can see it's like the great stupa. <laughs> and this, these people are foreigners approaching the Buddha is the title of this description. So the Buddha can be represented as a stupa, as a bodhi tree. He can be represented as a wheel or a footstep too. Or an empty throne. Okay, this is the middle architrave. I think it's my favorite. And here the Buddha is a Bodhi tree again. And he is being tempted by seductive daughters of this king, Mara. And here are some of his seductive daughters here who are approaching him. And um, then this is an army of demons that is also kind of here to seduce the Buddha and kind of turn him on a more negative path, tempt him from his righteousness. Okay, and then this is our um, fourth image associated with the great stupa. And this is the um, a statue of the Buddha. And the Buddha is in the mudra of... Um, Oh, for goodness sake, what mudra is he in? Oh, yeah, he's in the meditative pose. So his hands are, going back, sorry, his hands are laid like this in the meditative pose. He is sitting cross-legged and he is meditating. Now, the reason this is here is because going around the stupa are monks, are pilgrims who are meditating as they circumambulate the stupa and then they so they start at the lower level and then they walk upstairs and you see the second level up here they walk around that second level also and the whole purpose is to think of ascending to enlightenment ascending into nirvana um and then on the walkway is this exemplar of here's how we meditate this is the Buddha meditating, as I've said. So seated Buddha, meditation pose, and he is um, he, he's emitting rays of light. You can see that here in this um, like halo behind him. Here's a better example. And you can see these little like triangles. These are rays of sunlight saying that he's an example of how to meditate and he has reached enlightenment but he is showing the uh, circumambulators how to get to this enlightenment and nirvana. Okay, so this is the great stupa at Sanchi in um, Pradya, India. It is a Buddhist. It was created during the Marin and the late Sunga dynasties. 300 BC to 100 CE, it's made of stone masonry and sandstone is on the dome.